Next one, I will show to you how to take the periapical radiograph using the bisecting angle technique. Um, ideally, we want you to take using parallel technique, which is obtained by using the X-ray holder. But in um, uh, in certain situations, you wa you won't be able to do that. For example, in a patient with such a narrow palate uh, shape, uh, very, very impossible for you to uh, use the holder. A uh, patient won't be able to bite uh, nicely on the uh, x-ray holder. So you have to use the other technique, which is the bisecting angle technique. With the bisecting angle technique, you don't need the x-ray holder. You will ask the patient to hold the film themselves. Okay, remember, the same principle apply, the raised dot must be, the raised dot must be facing the extra tube. Okay, you, if you place it like this, it is wrong. You get error on the film. Alright, so the raised dot must be facing the extra tube. Ask the patient to hold the film for you. Okay, maybe you want to place the film first. Right, right, okay, boleh pegang x-ray, right, oh that's the best the patient can hold the x-ray film, okay, um, you might want to advise your patient to hold it slightly away from the tooth that you want to see because you don't want the thumb to um, interfere with the tooth that you want to see on the x-ray film, all right. Now, please observe carefully the angle of the film. Okay, so approximately you can imagine the line of the the, the, the line of the, the angle line of the extra film is like this, right? Okay, now I want you to imagine the the line of the um, axis of the tooth. So, for example, the tooth two one. Okay, so I would imagine this is this is the uh, imaginary line for um, uh, the film, and this is the the axis of the tooth, the long axis of the tooth. So now imagine there is a bisecting line between the line of the film and the line of the axis of the tooth. I would imagine it 45 degree around here. Yeah, the bisecting between these two lines. Okay, so I would imagine there is one imaginary line in between these two lines. And the line would be here. So stick to this line, get your x ray tube, and adjust the x ray tube 90 degree to your imaginary line. Yeah, about 90 degree, okay? And make sure your tube is placed um, at the center part of the film so you won't have cone cutting effect. If you're happy, then you can press the button.